Hi everyone, welcome to Hauler Time. My name is Amy and I have got another Timu haul for you today, so stay tuned. So I worked in the office today, so I am wearing my wearing my poker shirt and my new red shirt that I got on the last haul. And I've got black Timu pants on, plus my black new black shoes, which fit great. Although I will say I had to put this on the very last ring because or hole because I have a high arch and these are pretty flat shoes but it did fit but I was so confused at first with how to put these on because let me just take this out so I can show you so it comes like this where this part is just I'm like well how does this work and so I was like trying to stick it in here like this but that of course doesn't work you have to put it in so that this part is going on top of the buckle and then it kind of stays in place so luckily putting it on the last hole worked for me but just beware if you happen to get these but yeah I love love these. I love that they're square and I'm square so it all works out. <laughs> all right so I've got a few odds and ends before I get into the main bag. I went through and organized all of my stuff that I still haven't hauled yet and put it so that because you know they send they mix up all the orders in the bags they send so I went through and I unmixed it so that there were specific orders and so I've but I had a couple things that I that came kind of separate from the rest of their items and so I've already hauled the rest of those orders so but I have a couple of items so I'm just gonna go through those first so this first one is the sleep aid device I don't know if this is the same one that hey everybody talks about I ordered two different ones of these just to see. I really kind of hope I don't get the one that causes the rash, but I guess we'll see. So, oh, I took my, took my cat knife upstairs because I was breaking down treasure hunted books last night. And some of the books that I bought, I just book, bought for the cover, so I was kind of cutting out the actual parts of the book. So anyway, this is a sleep aid device. I gotta remember to sit back farther since, since this is closer. And the idea is that it's supposed to help you fall asleep better, which I have been finding that the nights before I have to go in and actually work in the office, I don't sleep as well because I have to wake up like at 5.15 and that's hard for me. And so then I just, I don't sleep very well because I'm afraid I'm going to oversleep and blah, blah, blah. So I thought maybe this would help on those kind of nights. Okay, so it comes with a USB, which I think I still have my tower, USB tower over here. And let's just see if it happens to be charged at all. I'm just pushing on things. Oh, it did come on. Okay, so it says sleep one relax excite oh that's right so I kind of think this is the one that hey everybody got because it is kind of looking familiar 
So you can do sleeping, relaxing, or exciting, which I really, I might need this when I'm working too, right? And then, so that was the bottom one that was going between that and also turned it on. And then the top one goes through the six levels within each. So, there it also I guess in case you can't see very well it it shows your battery life down here so this one is almost completely charged it looks like which is good and then that's interesting so sleep conditioning is not a one-day job sleep better with less insomnia with continuous use so I guess your body will get used to it over time right and whoa I can't read that the pulse stimulates the central nervous system of the human body allowing the body to produce mallet melanin and endorphins and enhance brain waves and so they are showing it being worn against the wrist which makes sense your pulse points or whatever so it's got a little um, pokey, <laughs> pokey thing that you poke through the holes. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's the end of the day. I guess my words are, are challenged. So anyway, it's a lot like a smart watch. A lot of smart, at least the Apple style watches kind of have buttonholes like that. So... Let's turn this around so it's facing the wrist. Okay, well, that's pretty much as far as I can pull that. Now, here's the question. How do I get it to actually do something? Or you can't see I'm like pushing both buttons and it's just changing so how do I get it to actually start um, where is okay well that is just a different language instructions it has three modes sleep relaxation refreshing with six levels of intensity Long press the M button. Which one's the M button? That would be the mode, I'm guessing, which is the bottom one. So let me long press the bottom one. It says M on it, so there is a little M on here. Um, well, now I think it's dead. Because now I'm not even getting anything when I... Maybe I powered it off. Okay. This is not boding well for this, because now my M button is stuck. Uh, hang on. How many minutes are we going to spend on this contraption? My M button is now stuck down in case you can't see that. Okay, and it's not coming back up. Okay, well maybe I broke it. So I'm going to have to work with this a little bit more and we'll see if I can figure it out. All right, what did I pay for that? I paid 14.48 for that one. I think the other one was cheaper. So, but it doesn't have this many features and I don't know when that's getting hauled. 
So there's that. Well, that was not very exciting and didn't work very well. All right, now I've got a few odds and ends from a different order. Let me find it real quick. Part of the reason why I did this was so that I wouldn't have to write down all the prices because that is just a pain in the butt, as you can imagine, I'm sure. So while I'm looking for this, so I got a notice today. I don't know how many of you do or get the Timu exclusive or the Reward 777, but I do or have been since almost since I joined back in July and got a notice today when I logged in to that or clicked into it that once my current session ends, which is January 6th, I will not be eligible for that program anymore. So I'm like, well, that's horrible because that's partially how I fund what I buy is I take advantage of the deals in the team exclusive to get money back that I then use to buy more things to show you guys. So I'm going to have to, I guess, either create a new account that can maybe get access to it again, or I'm going to be buying a lot less because I literally would wait to buy things until I was getting some kind of a deal. Because even like today, I had a deal for 30% cash back so I put in a hundred dollar order because I had about that much in credits already and so I put in that order and then I'm getting thirty dollars back to spend in the future and that's basically getting a thirty percent thirty percent off of your order sort of I mean it's not quite the same because you've got to still spend it up front but yeah, so I was pretty disappointed. I, re I reached out to customer support to see, is it just me or is the whole program going away? Like, is that a change Timu's making in 2024? And she couldn't really, she wouldn't really say. So if, if you guys happen to be participating in the Timu exclusive program, let me know if you've gotten a similar notice because I don't know if she was afraid to tell me it was just me <laughs> or people that have like I don't it would I could see if maybe because I've been a, a Timu person <laughs> purchaser or whatever for about six months so I could see if they were saying well you've gotten to do this six times because it's a month long subscription each time you've got to do it six times and that's just all you're eligible for. I could see it being that and it would affect everybody at different times, but I still think that's terrible because I I do spend a lot of money with them. And so I want to take, I want to get as many deals as possible and their deals are going down the crapper kind of. So <laughs> let's look and see what else I bought from Timu. All right, these are some stickers, one, si one size stickers, and it's 35 pieces of vintage parchment paper stickers. Oh, well, it's discontinued, so don't get, although there may be other sellers that have it, but it's cute little things like, you know, newspapers, advertisements oh night bus I thought it was saying night bug I'm like what is that and they are all very similar in size but but yeah so that's all these are, just stickers. And these look like the kind of stickers that you, not not that you would put these on your Stanley Cup, but they look like that kind of quality. That they would be partially kind of waterproof. And I paid $157, but again, it's been discontinued with my seller. So when I'm doing the editing for this, I'll see if I can find that if somebody else has it. All right, next was a roll of washi tape. And 
Miranda. This one, let me see what style I bought. I got the one called Mini Preface, which I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean. And let's just dig in. It's of course vintagey looking stuff. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of these because I feel like they're a good deal. I mean, aside from Tim Holtz, I'm not sure how many other brands do this kind of washi tape. And maybe it's really common and I just don't know because I'm too new to... Like, I didn't really use much washi when I was making cards. Although, you can make some really cool cards with washi tape. Okay, so these look kind of like advertisements, which is cool. And let me see if they are stickers or washi tape. And while I'm doing that, I paid $1.93. Wait, they're $1.93 now. I paid $1.98. Okay, yeah, they're stickers. So, <laughs> this is, that one is right here. It was stuck to the kind of masking tape that was holding it closed. Let me get it back on there. But I really like, I, I don't know. I mean, there's, washi tape has a place in crafting and so do stickers and I kind of for this kind of thing I like that there's stickers so I can go through and because if I want this one I don't want to have to use up all these other ones first just to get to that one like you would with washi tape so those are cool it looks like they're all just advertisements which is neat all right and then next Another one of these, and I was trying to see if these were from the Mo card that I really like, the brand, but I don't see that on here anywhere. But anyway, these are wa these are more stickers, washi stickers, and we're doing kind of map theme. One of the books I tore up yesterday was a, actually I tore up two old atlases. One was like a Funk and Wagnalls atlas, so back from the late 70s, early 80s. And then another one was like a big, huge, like Time Life atlas. So I tore those up to get papers out of them and that was fun. So this, I paid $1.57 and it's now $1.73 and it, there's four different styles you can get of these, but they're just called colors. So this was color D and I guess the idea is that, I don't know, there's not really a specific, it's not like they're all red, they're kind of all, I don't know, I don't know what the difference is. but. Anyway, there's that. All right, and then the last thing from this order is another bracelet. I may never be done getting bracelets. I should have worn one of my red, red ones. So anyway, this is another kind of charm bracelet that came fully made. This was not one of the advent calendar ones. But this one is one that's got one of these kind of openings. And so you can see it's got, like this is supposed to help stop the beads from falling off. But really this little silicone piece will be what will keep that from happening. I still haven't found a good use for this. Like I don't, I just don't, 
I don't know, because it's just as, got just as big a holes as the beads, I don't understand. I just don't understand. But anyway, this one I thought was going to be a lot more purple, but it's really more of a gray purple. But I like that it's symmetrical and it's hard to see, but like some of these beads have lavender stones in them. And then some of the beads are just silver, but it's pretty. But I may transfer it to a different one that I don't have to worry about so much. Although maybe this will be good enough, but that's kind of weird looking, right? Even though I know on Timu you can buy a whole bag of these these little things, but but this kind of clasp is also hard to get on and off by yourself. And I was gonna get one of those things that you can to help you put it on yourself, but I've had a couple people say they got those and they didn't work very well. So maybe I won't get one. And just wake up my husband if I have to put one on and in the morning. All right, so I paid $4.98 for that. So that's a great price to get all these beads. I mean, if you tried to buy all these separate and make your own, it would cost a lot more than that. And, oh, it's down to $3.50. And you can get it in purple or pink. And then four different, oh no, it looks like this is the only size um, bracelet that's still available. But yeah. And then I guess too, speaking of that, this kind of, this kind doesn't come with any extender. So that's probably why they sell it in four different sizes normally. So hopefully this fits, but again, if it doesn't, I'll probably just put it on one of those other ones. All right. I need to get my other bag. So hang on. Okay. So I've got this order pulled up. And as I was pulling it up, I started to think about how, again, I think the price check girl is on vacation. Um, I feel like, I feel like there's certain times where, and I'm kidding, right? When I say the price check girl, but I feel like there's some times where they're not processing price adjustments like they should be, but then you'll go, you'll, so you like go a long time without any, and then all of a sudden you'll get a bunch. So that's what makes me feel like. They've got one person and they went on vacation and then when they come back, they catch up, but whatever. <laughs> so next I've got a pair of black jeans. These are a repurchase for me, but I size down. So I have a pair of these. These are one X. I have a pair of these in 2X that I really, really liked, but they did finally get kind of baggy, so I sized down to the 1X. So it's kind of a straight, straight leg, and it's got a high waist, which I really like. Buttons, which this is kind of curved, so hopefully that'll straighten out a little bit. And belt loops. These up here are fake, just for looks. So just down here, little coin pocket, regular pockets, and then regular pockets on the back. So yeah, I really like these. It always makes me think of Jessica Simpson, you know, when she got totally reamed for wearing like mom jeans and I'm like, but those are so cute. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I'm glad I got those because I'm still wearing the 2X ones. It's just, they are a little bit baggy. And I paid $16.14 for those and they are now $19.79. Yes, so a little bit of a price increase there. I would not have I don't typically use spin the wheel deals or those kind of things on clothes. So that is a legitimate price hike on that. Socks. <laughs> when am I going to stop buying socks? I don't know. I still got probably two or three more orders of socks. These, I think I saw these hauled on. Are we there yet? 
I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was her. And this is a five pairs of socks. And these should be great boot socks, I'm hoping. So they're all kind of, well, whatever kind of design you want to call this. Feel very homey to me. The kind of socks that you'd like I'd wear at the family farm in the winter kind of thing. But anyway, if these are the same ones that I saw on Are We There Yet, she said they were very good for her feet. She's got to be, she, I guess, has to be careful with what kind of socks. So kind of like me, maybe. And I don't know, I don't know if she's diabetic or anything. I'm not saying that, but I have to be careful more because of that and because of my cankles. So I will most likely fold this down so that this part is down more around the, the um, ankle. But yeah, they seem, they're really pretty. I mean, really pretty designs and Trying to see what they so this is what they look like on the inside so there is some kind of loosey-goosey strings here which could be kind of annoying so we'll just have to see but again I was just kind of looking for some socks to wear with boots and I keep looking at Dollar Tree because I got a really really good pair of boot socks at Dollar Tree, but they've been sold out for a while, and I've looked at several different ones. So, so yeah, so that's why I got these. There's a set of five. I paid $5.48, and they're now $6.29. need to have a whole drawer just for socks at this point. But you can never have too many socks, right? Because they always, they always, some of them always get lost. Okay, so I got more of these. And unfortunately, I have decided that I much prefer this. And, whoa, okay, hold on. That's not completely locked down. Okay, technical difficulties, hang on. I've got one that's a little bit off. Okay, I much prefer these to, and see, oh no, I thought I had labeled it. I, didn't I label, I think I labeled, where did it go? Oh, right there. I actually put some printables in here that I cut up, so I put the label on here so I'd know where they came from when they run out. So anyway, I much prefer this to these others, but now I've got like 30 of these, so I'm going to still use them, but probably more for jewelry stuff. But you could get a set of 5 or a set of 10. I, of course, got 10. I'm trying to think of other things that I could use these for. I mean, I guess you could use them for, well, you could use them for a lot. Obviously, anything that will fit in here. But, and they're really nice. So, these are great for stickers. I know a lot of people buy these on Timu for stickers. But, could be used for medicine you know, travel to travel around and it's a decent size to put in your purse. So if you've got, I don't know, you guys can figure out other things to use this for. But so anyway, I'm not buying any more of these just because I originally bought them to store these kind of things that I'm now storing in my tower. But that being said, there's nothing wrong with them. So I'm not returning them. And I only paid a dollar 70 for 10. And they're now
they're now $347 for $10. So I think that was a Black Friday kind of a deal. And it wasn't the penny deal, but I think it was some kind of deal like that. And I was like, well, shoot, for $170, $0.17 cents a piece, I can handle that. Next. Okay, so this must be... <laughs> So this must be an order I placed after having watched Are We There Yet? Because I'm pretty sure she called this too. So it is a scarf that you could just wrap around or it's got this part that's got a hole in it that you would take and pull this pull this through this hole and then it sits like this so really simple to do this is a really soft yet kind of thin so if you're bothered by having things too tight on your neck it's it's very stretchy and simple you don't have to worry about wrapping it around a couple times to tie it in. It just is very simple. And then when you're not using it, you just take it out and then it lays flat. Now mine, it appears to be have some dirty spots on it. So hopefully this is not something someone returned. Oh. And I have a little bit of a hole down here. So I may report that. Last thing I want is for it to un unfurl. I paid $269. It's still $269 and it comes in black. This one is called white, but it's really cream. Then they've got khaki red and pink so yeah so I'm excited to well no I'm not excited to wear this because I don't like cold weather <laughs> but when cold weather comes I will be prepared and then this one is the same kind of thing but I did not get this one from the same store that I got that one from but it's the same idea. Except it looks, this one looks, is this one for an animal <laughs> instead of a person? Oh my goodness. Okay, well this red one's gonna be a problem. So what did I do wrong when I was ordering this red one? It does not say that it's for a child but it's the same idea. But yeah, this is way this is way too small. So I will have to return this one. I mean, it's stretchy, but this would be I don't know. I would just I should just order the red in this one if I want red. I'm wearing red. Let's just see how tight this is. Uh, okay, so this might work for some, but this looks ridiculous, doesn't it? So yeah, and it's very tight. I mean, it's stretchy, so it's not like cutting off my airflow, but yeah, this is way too small. And it doesn't come in different sizes, so they really should have this marketed as toddlers or dogs. <laughs> All right, so I paid for this red one $269, and it's now $298. All right. Next, ooh, so next I got a hanger holder, 
because I bought all of those flocked hangers from the Dollar Tree and I also have those little things that you can stick on the hanger to hang more things to cascade down but I've noticed when when the hangers empty I don't really want it in the closet because it takes up too much space so I got this contraption and let me see if I can put it together it's got some kind of weird weirdness going on right there but it just snaps together and you can either have it like this or I guess like this but I'm gonna have it like this this is the only way that kind of makes sense to me and that way it'll keep the hangers from getting tangled etc and then it's got this piece which goes into these holes here maybe okay you just have to it does you got to give a little bit of <laughs> pushing okay well I'll have my husband push the rest of that in but yeah so you would just hang your hangers on here but they do do they show how they use it if they go like this? Yeah, see in the picture they're showing it like this and that you can carry it around with this handle once you get it pushed all the way in. And I'll have a picture, you know, after this of what it looks like. But yeah, I guess they do all have it like this. So this might be a good thing to put in your laundry room wherever you want your extra hangers I we happen to when we do our laundry take it after we get it out of the dryer we just take it to whoever room whose ever room it belongs to and then well let's face it my husband and I are probably the only ones that hang up our clothes so so yeah so just a thing to put hangers on I paid $2.97 and it's now $2.98 and you can get it in white, blue, green, or pink. Next, this is for my cats. This is supposedly a heating mat that heats up when they lay on it. So their own body heat kind of gets captured in here. I bought two of these, but there's only one down here because I've had one upstairs for them to use and they do not use it yet. So I don't know, I don't know if I need to spray it with some catnip or what, but it's this big. This is what the backside looks like. So it's kind of, this would slide around, but they will tell you this is a non-slip grip kind of thing and it does have a case so you can wash it but you'd need to take this out so this is all that it's got inside and it's crinkly a little bit but it's really just foam but you know how cats are they like to sit on things that are crinkly but that foam inside with the metallic side is supposed to draw in their heat and give them kind of a heating pad without having to deal with wires and stuff but my cats you know I don't know if I need to just put it in a different room but they have not been laying on this there's always a person or a pile of blankets that they would prefer to be laying on so I cannot speak to whether this is a good product or not but I paid 547 for each one and they're now 548 they come in this color and this one is khaki and they also come in beige which is it looks white in the picture but it's probably a cream
and depending on when, when I finish this, I may go upstairs and grab another bag. All right, this is another repurchase. This is the foundation that I really like using from Timu. It It comes with a mushroom sponge. I haven't completely used up the one that I had have already bought, but I decided I wanted to make sure I had one available when it does run out. And it seems to be a not horrible color for me. There is, there's really very little that adequately covers up my beet face from my rosacea. And the things that do cover it really well, even though they say they're non-comediogenic, they still clog and cause extra breakouts and stuff. So I like this because it's very light and it, it gives me some reduction of redness, but it comes with the little bag that's got the mushroom sponge in it, which I, I love these. I wish it would have come with a plastic carrying case, but Timu does sell those too. So it comes with that and then it's called an air cushion cream and there's lots of different sellers and brands of this on Timu, but a lot of them I guess are marketed more for, well, maybe Asian women, but women that have really fair skin, which I do have really fair skin if you discount the rosacea. I mean, I'm very pale. So, but you twist this off and then it's just got a little like piece of foam up here. And when you first get it, it's got a little cover on here too that ugh, that you slide off. So then I would use my sponge on this first, but then it's just got the little holes in here and all the, I think it's a BB cream. Let me see if it says. So I think basically that is part foundation, part moisturizer, but yeah, it's a BB cream. So nourishing, moisturizing and concealing. So it, it may be a little bit thinner, although there are some foundations that are pretty thin, but it's really, I mean, I can, I could put a little bit of this on, I guess, although you probably won't notice, but I'll go, I'm kind of red right here right now. So let me, but I like when you're using it on the actual thing, cause it gives you a pattern on your thing here, but just get a little bit on and I pat, I don't know if you're supposed to pat or rub, but I kind of pat. So it kind of, it helped a little bit there, but again, it's a very light coverage. So I'm really, when I'm using it, I'm just trying to get the people with non problematic skin. This would completely cover I'm sure but me because I've got I need I need some more green like underneath before I would put this on but yeah so pretty much after I've moisturized in the morning I'll go and I'll use this and actually I probably could could possibly skip the moisturizing step since this has moisturizer in it but yeah I really liked that and I liked the color for my skin. But again, I think it's marketed more for very pale women because the only colors you can get it in are ivory and natural. And the natural I don't think is very much darker than the ivory. But I paid $4.48 and it's now $4.04. So there are some out of all that Timu makeup stuff I bought, there is some of it that I actually do like and use. 
All right, next we've got, this is another kind of reorder, except I ordered the different varieties of it, but I really, really like these. So it's three sets of stickers and I'll just, well, let's or open the red one. So I got a red, a blue, and I don't know that, well, and these don't have stickers on them. So I guess, let me look and see what it says. Oh, B, C, and D. So anyway, one's red, one's blue, and one's, I guess, more just vintage brown. And these, it looks like there's 12 pages of stickers in here. And it looks like this, and there's six, there's doubles of everything. So you go through the first six pages and then it repeats. But these are just great, very popular style of labeling for people that are doing crafts. And, you know, it's, it's got numbers, which people love. Oh, that's funny. So this was supposed to be red, but we've got some green in here too. So, and you can see different shapes. And I watched Seven Plaza and she made some of these of her own, just using her own paper and and border stamps, so I'm gonna try that too in one of my craft videos. I'm getting my, a camera to do overhead, and it should be here tomorrow, so I'm hoping that I will be able to get a craft video posted for Saturday is my goal. But anyway, there's just a ton of these, and I, I, I can't get enough of these, and I don't know why. <laughs> but I just really like them. So when I go to, and here we start over again, I've got an idea for my first craft video. I watched, and I don't even know the girl's name, but I watched a video. I've watched it twice now because it's like supposedly a super easy mini journal to make that I thought would be fun to do together with you guys and pretty easy and I need to do something easy as I'm learning how to film with my hands. So anyway, maybe I'll get to use some of these in that. So this one was 310. This one was 266. And this one was 266. And Now the ones that were 266 are 290, and then this one is up to 338. And there's four different kinds, and I now have all four kinds. So I really, really like these. I guess the other thing I didn't point out for those of you that are interested is one thing I really like about these is how matte they are. So they're they're just they're not shiny at all and they're it's really like washi tape when you pull them off and they're already cut so you don't ha sometimes you can get ones on Timu that aren't already cut but these are but yeah I really like cuz I just like the texture of them so all right what do we have left I don't even have anything that I need to try on from this one. Make sure those are the only other two things. Okay. So next I got some sticky tape or double-sided tape. It's 10 rolls and they are 177 inches on each roll, which is a pretty decent amount. I usually get my double-sided tape from the Dollar Tree, but it was 212 for all of this. So 
it's a pretty decent amount for 212 com considering I'm trying to see if I've got one of the Dollar Tree ones no, I don't think I do but here's here's a comparable like this is the kind of size you get at the Dollar Tree so obviously it's the radius is or the diameter or whatever is smaller but there's still a lot on there and this one is half a centimeter wide really for some reason this seems like more but yeah half a centimeter wide or 0.19 inches that doesn't seem right. That really seems, oh, that's not right either. But that's what it's saying. It's saying that the width of this is half a centimeter. So whatever, what do I know? I'm not good at measurements. <laughs> so, and like I said, they were 212 and they're now 231. And then the last thing in this bag is huge paper clips. I was watching somebody else's haul and, no, not haul, I was watching a craft video and whoever it was used these big paper clips to kind of clip things together while they were either gluing or, you know, trying to keep things straight without moving. And I just thought, well, that seems genius instead of using a binder clip or something like that so that this would go way down farther on the paper and hold more. So this set is a set of 10, which should be all I would ever need unless for some reason I've got multiple projects going on at the same time. But they're just like the little ones, the coated little ones, but, but they're big. And you could get a five piece or a 10 piece or an 18 piece. I got the 10 piece and it says random colors. So I only got these colors, but they also have green and pink as options, but you don't get to pick. And I paid $1.51 for 10. And right now this vendor only has the 18 available for $3.39. But the, but the 10, if they had it, would be $1.86. So, so yeah, so I'm excited to have these to play with now. All right, so we've got a little bit of time. I'm going to go up and see if I can find a bag that's just got a few things in it, and we'll add that onto this, so hang on. Okay, we are in luck. I found a few little tiny bags. So, this first one was a gift with purchase, and it is called Large Retro Bill Stickers, 53 piece, that's kind of random, and uh, because this is, uh, I hate in this, the way you look stuff up right now, the way mine's set in order to figure out what it would cost you have to act like you want to buy it again but it's not even letting me it's not even letting me try to buy it again I could return it but what's up with that Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to be able to tell you how much this cost, but anyway, it the free gifts with purchase, you're not getting very much for free, so it's probably a couple bucks. So, it said this was retro bills, but we've got library card, you know, the due dates, and then just some old receipts. different colors, which is always great, different sizes. So here's a plain library card.
card. Let's look at this red one, or pink one. Oh, so some tickets. What is that? Oh, just notes. So, again, just more pieces. I like the sizes of these and the colors of them. <laughs> and I'm dropping them all over the floor, so I think that means I don't need to show any more of those. <laughs> so again, free, but probably at just a couple bucks. All right, and then final order that we will look at. Let me go back and pull it up. It's only got a few items in it. <laughs> I just had it, but then I had to go find that singular item. Okay. So, this is the blue sweater that matches the green and the khaki sweater that I pulled on here before. So those of you that are not new will recognize this. If you are new, welcome. We're happy to have you. This sweater is so warm and it's got its, what looks like used toilet paper but you know they're trying to be nice with their tissue paper and it's got a little bit of fuzz on it but it's really it's it's kind of a holy sweater let me see if I could put my hand in here see what I mean but it's still so warm which is crazy and there was a viewer that explained to me why that works and whatnot, but I really, really like this sweater and it comes to right underneath my butt. So it's good to wear with leggings. And it's, I, I wish, I said this before, I wish this came in like every single color because I would buy it in every single color. And I did, but that was only navy, khaki, and green is the only colors it came in. But yeah, so I'm happy to add this to my collection. And I got this in a 2X on the plus side because I like that it comes low. It doesn't feel baggy. It just feels long, which I really like. And I paid $18.98 and it's still $18.98. But yeah, I've been... Almost every day I have one of those sweaters on, unless I'm going out. Now that's not to say they don't look nice going out, they do, but I right now don't have a lot to wear the khaki one with, so it's really more of a stay warm kind of deal at the moment. All right, next, I got some stamps of stamps. <laughs> so I have been finding it very hard when I'm treasure hunting to find any kind of old used stamps. Now if I find old postcards, there's usually still a stamp on the back of them. But, and this is a knockoff or a stolen, however you want to say it, of a Tim Holtz design. But if you have, tr if you want to use stamps and you have trouble finding some, that's why I got this. So I would, you know, probably use a green or a red or a blue when stamping these. You, I mean, you obviously can use any color you want, but, but yeah. So it's just kind of reminiscent of those old presidential postage stamps, and trying to see if, but they're not just, I mean, there, there is one with like Washington on here, 
but it says city dispatch post and dispatch is spelled wrong and I don't know if it's spelled wrong in the Tim Holtz version but there's also Staten Island Express Post Bernard's City Letter Express Cambridge Street Beaumont paid 10 cents so I just thought these would be fun and I paid $2.49 and it says human animal stamps scrapbooking paper craft handmade album card punch art dies I don't know why it's got all those words all those words do not apply like I don't think there's any animals okay well there's a horse on this one for the Pony Express but there's still $2.49 And then, just like I was talking about earlier, I got some border dies so that I can make my own labels. And I may do this on a video, but where I, kind of like Seven Plaza did, where I, where I take these and stamp them on paper, like vintage paper I already have to make, and then they would get cut out. So they've got a couple different versions of these border dies, but I or stamps, but I got this one, and I paid 153, and they're now 178. And all of these I kind of checked beforehand, and they stick to their backing really well, which is a good sign to me. I mean, if if you take the the top cover may not stick all that well, but if but if the stamp doesn't stick to the back very well, it's not usually a very good stamp. But these have all been fine. And then, okay, so these, these are like, it's like they've taken McCall's sewing pattern covers, you know, like when you, if you, got one of those they'd have like ladies wearing whatever the sewing pattern was for it's like they've taken those images and made them into clear stickers or PET stickers or PVC stickers and they they sell these so I got this big set which comes in this nice tin there's 400 stickers in here and they so they've got like a white set, a red set, green. Well, this one has all the different colors combined, but you can buy each of the different colors separate. And I, after I got this one and saw how small they were, I feel like I've seen Seven Plaza look at these or have these and they were bigger, the ones that she had. So I got the other kind and she got hers from AliExpress, but Timu had the same one. So I have ordered one of those just to compare, but these are great, but yet tiny. So the lid is not hinged. It just comes off. And then it's just full of all, all these little stickers, which, so here, I'll just hold one up. Well, maybe against the back of this. So you kind of see what I mean where it seems like a sewing pat the you know the ladies off of a sewing pattern because sometimes there's two sometimes there's you know one but they're just all different kinds and So yeah, so I thought that would be fun, although they're a lot smaller than I was expecting. So again, I'm going to see if the other way to buy these is bigger. Like maybe they made these smaller since they put them all together. But I paid $6.51 for that tin. And what? They are now $3.99. Did I get a price adjustment? Yes, I did. Wow. Okay, so... $3.99 is a pretty good price for all of that. 
I'm tempted to just order another one just because it's cheap. But they are PET stickers. I guess that's what they call the ones that have a clear edging and stuff. More like acetate. So, so yeah, I'm excited about those. But again, I wish they were bigger. All right, then I got another purple bracelet. And again, this is not a advent calendar one. Whoa. Okay, something just fell off. What was that? Am I ever going to find it again? I am not sure I will. Okay, well, we'll see. I don't know if it fell in the bag or if it fell on the carpet. But I'm not seeing it, so... I wonder if it's the charm. So here's the bracelet. This one is a light purple, which purple a lot of times turns out blue on my screen. But again, it's another one, it's another one of these clasps, but it has the silicone part there. And it's symmetrical, so you're getting two of everything. But there is supposed to be a charm on here, right in here, so I bet that's the part that fell off. Although the bead part of it is still there, but it's kind of open. So I'll have to look for that. But in any event, it's still really pretty. And these are really pretty because it's kind of painted enamel on there. So yeah, I like that. And it cost, I paid $5.24 which again is a good price for all these beads and it's now $7.26. So we are almost to the end of all of my these. <laughs> so I got another one of these and I that's the advent calendar one and I already put it together. Oh, the thing did fall in here. I think. Yes. So this is the charm part that fell off of that other one. So I just need to put it back on and then pinch it back together. So I, when I ordered this, I think that I've now ordered this one twice. And I don't know why I did that <laughs> because I recognize most of this and the box. So I don't know what I was thinking, but now I guess I can make symmetrical ones, but these were nice. This particular one was nice because it had a pretty even number of beads and charms. Obviously, we're past Christmas, but there are several beads on here that are not contingent on Christmas. I mean, the charms, well, the charms are pretty Christmassy, but there's several beads that I'm trying to pick one out. Like, there's a kind of a snowflake bead. This one was a little, oh, that's a reindeer. Well, Okay, so most of the most of them are Christmas, but whatever. And then this was the other one. So yeah, you could harvest a few things off of here. But I guess most of them would be pretty Christmassy. But it was 670 to get both of those bracelets together. And they still have it, so it's $7.47 if you order it today. All right. So that is the end. I think we're at a good place to stop. I don't have anything I have to try on. I do need to return this crazy little thing. And sometimes I think to tell you guys what my favorite 
thing is in these. I didn't ever do a thumbnail, so let me... I think I'm going to say that these little books are my favorite. Just because I love them. But we'll hold it up with a few a few paper clips. Does this look silly? Yes. And yeah, so I'm filming this on Tuesday evening. Hopefully this will be up sometime Thursday and hopefully whenever you're watching this, or I should say wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day. I really, really appreciate you watching this. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. I have had a couple people lately say they thought they were subscribed and then they looked and saw that they weren't. So please be sure to check that you are subscribed if you're a regular. If you're not a regular, I hope you'll consider becoming a regular and supporting this channel with your views and your likes and your nice comments. But otherwise, until we meet again, take care of yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.